Are your sims spending every day munching on mac and cheese and wanting more? We're about to look at 10 foods that go well beyond filling up your sims hunger need and these could actually change the way that you play the game. Let's go! First up is the forbidden fruit of the plant sim, which is base game. Now this isn't the easiest fruit to obtain. To get a hold of it, you'll need a sim to reach level 10 of the gardening skill before then having them buy rare plant packets for 1000 simoleons of pop and opening them until they have all 6 different coloured magic beans. These beans then need to be placed on the magic plant sim stump and watered, which will make the stump grow into a giant and rather magical purple tree that has a cave-like opening. Exploring this opening will see your sim disappear and then emerge with a forbidden fruit of the plant sim, and eating this fruit will temporarily turn your sim into a plant sim for 5 days whereby they'll thrive in sunlight and even gain the ability to absorb solar energy from plants. Know that while this food turns you into a plant sim, it is only a temporary state. And after the very long moodlet lasting around 5 days wears off, your sim will return to being a regular sim once again. Also know that the opening in this magical tree will close off once explored and only periodically reopen, so it can be handy to plant a few of these forbidden fruits if you want to get them in greater supply. Now for another base game dish that you're going to want to use, being Ambrosia. This is rather difficult to come by, as it requires both level 10 cooking and level 10 gourmet cooking to make, as well as 3 ingredients which are a little tricky to gather. These ingredients are a potion of youth, which costs 1500 satisfaction points, an angel fish, as well as a death flower. That being said, once you make this dish, it'll have one very big perk. Being that if a ghost sim eats it, then it will revive them and make them a human once more. That's right, kiss death goodbye with this dish. It's also worth noting that this food is worth quite a few thousands of simoleons, and so if you make it using the marketable trait which has a good chance of increasing its value, you can then potentially sell it at a retail store if you have the get to work expansion pack with a further markup to make loads of money, which is pretty neat. Next up is grilled cheese. I see you looking at me like I've lost the plot and you know what, I understand. It isn't necessarily grilled cheese itself that's so exciting, but rather what happens when you eat this dish 3 times in a row, as doing this will see your sim unlock the hidden grilled cheese aspiration. Completing this aspiration involves cooking grilled cheese, eating grilled cheese, and talking about grilled cheese. In short, all things grilled cheese. The reward, you ask? Well that would be the Meltmaster trait, which allows sims to summon grilled cheese at will and paint a few special grilled cheese paintings. Have you ever wanted to live a life devoted to grilled cheese? No, you say? Well, okay, that's understandable, but I'm here to tell you that you can. And we all love options. Moving on now to look at Pufferfish Nigiri, which comes with the City Living Expansion Pack. And if grilled cheese wasn't your thing, then maybe murder is. And this is made possible through the Pufferfish Nigiri dish. Sims can purchase and eat Pufferfish Nigiri from Japanese food stands, which appear from time to time in the Fashion District or the uptown areas of Sanmai Shuno, as well as at the Romance Festival. You can also just purchase them in buy mode and hire a vendor to run it before buying the dish that way. Purchasing and then eating this dish from stalls won't kill your sim as it'll be excellent quality, but it will see your sims learn how to make pufferfish nigiri themselves. If your sims cooking level sucks and they have bad appliances, then when they make the dish themselves it'll likely turn out poor quality. And if they give this poor quality pufferfish nigiri to another sim to eat, then it'll have a decent chance of being their last meal as it can cause them to pass away, especially if the sim eating it is already in a bad mood. While this can be great for enacting some devious revenge on other sims, it can also be taken a lot further if you have the dine out game pack. That's right, you can run a restaurant where you sell pufferfish nigiri while employing the worst chefs who can barely make the damn dish, all in the name of killing your customers and causing the maximum amount of chaos. The fifth food that we'll talk about is a quick one, being honey, and this will require the season's expansion pack. Honey can be gathered periodically from the birdies bee box object, and it'll be better quality if you're better friends with your bees. 
So like, be nice to your bees. You can eat honey solo, use it to make bee tea, or even use it to make honey cake. And while eating honey or honey dishes will improve your sim's hunger need, even more importantly is that it'll make your sim immune to temperature changes for a few hours while the happy mood that the honey gives you lasts. That's right, you can go swim in a freezing lake without worrying that your sim is going to die. Or on the flip side, you can wear a sweater during a heatwave and again, your sim will live on. I know, it's fabulous. Next up, it's time to take a look at ice cream, which comes with the cool kitchen stuff pack. And there are a few flavours in particular that bring with them a few unique effects. At level 3, cooking sims can create weight of the world ice cream, which eating repeatedly will make a sim gain weight. At level 4, cooking sims can create the taste of diet ice cream, which eating repeatedly will see a sim lose weight. Then at level 8, cooking sims can create the plant matter ice cream, which will temporarily make your sim look like a plant sim for 4 hours. And at level 10 cooking you can make the chilling mocha ice cream, which eating makes your sim turn blue. Eating two servings in a row will see your sim gain the ice treat moodlet and be able to perform the chilling touch mischief interaction on another sim which will see you slap them into being cold and blue. All in all there are quite a few ice cream flavours that can be fun to make use of in your gameplay or which can help you make your sim gain or lose weight in seconds. Moving on now to the dishes made using golden or obsidian eggs, and these dishes come with the Cottage Living Expansion Pack. To get golden eggs you'll need to get a golden chicken, which can be done by feeding a chicken a golden treat. Then to get obsidian eggs you'll need an evil chicken, which you can get by feeding your chicken a midnight treat, and these types of chickens will lay golden and obsidian eggs respectively. As a side note, feeding your chicken a spicy treat will get them to lay a one-time obsidian egg. While golden and midnight treats are quite rare, one way to get them is by befriending rabbits or birds before receiving gifts from them, which can include these treat types. If you eat food made from golden eggs, such as golden scrambled eggs with bacon, then the sim who ate them will gain a dace plus 3 moodlet for 2 hours and during this time they'll have yellow sparkles around them. While the moodlet is active, your sim will gain the golden pulse power which can be used to max the quality of any object. And this includes plants too, which is super powerful. Sims can also cast their golden pulse onto other sims to spread the moodlet and thus the power to them for a few hours as well. Similarly, if you eat food made from obsidian eggs such as obsidian eggs on toast, then you will gain a unique temporary power. This time your sim will gain an angry moodlet for a few hours and while this angry moodlet is active, your sim's eyes will glow red and they'll gain the ability to use the evil glare power on objects which will cause them to break and also start a fire, which is great for causing chaos. You can also use the evil glare power on other sims to spread the moodlet to them as well. Now for a quick but fun dish your sims can make being the pleasantly unpleasant waffles. And this will require a waffle maker and the home chef hustle stuff pack, as well as a trash fruit, a strawberry and some batter. These waffles require 10 cooking to make, but when eating this dish your sim will have a chance to receive two different outcomes, one being a strong happy moodlet and the other being an angry moodlet. While not as groundbreaking as other foods on the list, the unpredictability of this dish can make it rather fun to use. Next up is Forbidden Candy, and you will need the Paranormal Stuff Pack to have access to this. With this pack you can of course come across Spectres, and offering Spectres a gift can see you get one back in return, and with a little bit of luck this could be one of the unassuming candy jars. You'll be able to eat a forbidden candy from this jar, and doing this will give your sim an energized plus 2 moodlet for 3 hours. And while this moodlet is active, your sim's energy need will actually increase rather than decrease, which is great for if you want your sims to do more and sleep less. I know it sounds low key horrifying because sleep is life, but it's okay because it's the sims. Also make sure you only eat this candy around once a day. If you overdo it, then rather than getting an energized moodlet, you'll instead gain an uncomfortable one. And well, that doesn't do anyone any favors. While we're here, if you have the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, then I also want to give a quick shout out to Bombardia Beetle Stir Fry, which requires level 5 cooking to make. 
After raising Bombardia beetles on your insect farm, you can then obtain Bombardia beetle nuggets from them, and then use these as ingredients to create Bombardia beetle stir fry. Eating this dish will increase both the sim's hunger and energy need by quite a significant amount. So it's an awesome dish to be able to serve up. And now the final food that we need to talk about is the bizarre fruit that comes with the Strangerville game pack. You can obtain this from the Curio Shop or from Strange Plants, both which are located within Strangerville. When a sim eats this bizarre fruit, they'll become possessed, causing them to kind of lose control and be highly uncooperative and totally loopy for 3 hours. But the good news is that all of your sims needs will also be maxed in the process, and only begin to decay once the possession wears off. While possessed, your sims can even chat with the bizarre plants too. What's more is that after a sim has eaten one bizarre fruit, that sim will gain the infected trait. And this trait will make it so that at around 1am every night your sim will once again become possessed for a few hours, go totally loopy, and have their needs maxed. Note though that to get rid of this infected trait you'll need to play through the Strangerville mystery storyline to the point where you can vaccinate yourself or alternatively you can also cheat it away, so know that it can be annoying to get rid of. And now just before finishing up, a very quick bonus mention for fruitcake. You will often notice the welcome wagon bringing this dish around at every possible opportunity. And interestingly, when sims eat it, it'll be rather random how they react. They will most likely dislike it and it'll make them uncomfortable, but there's also a chance that they'll like it and that it'll give them a happy moodlet. Whatever their response is to eating fruitcake, know that it will never change. And fruitcake is also rather unique in that it never goes bad. So essentially if you have a sim that likes it, then you now have an easy dish that you can make for them that will never go off and always gives them a happy moodlet, which can be very helpful. Note that you can make this dish at level 1 of the gourmet cooking skill, and this skill unlocks after you reach level 5 of the regular cooking skill. And with that we're at the end. That's 10 foods or dishes that can absolutely change up how you play the sims. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then you might also like my video on drinks that can change up how you play, so check that out if you want to. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!